If we want to calculate the enthalpy for a reaction, there are three ways to do it. We could add other reactions, with the result being the reaction we're interested in. We can use the heat of formation of reactants and products. Or the third way is to use the bond energies of the reactants and products. And we would look at the bond energies of any bond formed or broken. In this case, we're going to look at number one. We're going to add other reactions together. And you can do this uh, algebraically. So we're going to algebraically add some reactions together and add their heats together to get the reaction we're interested in. That's Hess's law. So some things. We can um, multiply. So let's say that I needed 3HI. So I can multiply this whole thing together. And in that case, I would multiply the heat. So if I needed, for example, in my final reaction, I needed three hydrogen iodides, and I needed to multiply the whole reaction times three, then I would multiply the heat by three. OK, let's say that we need hydrogen iodide as a product, not a reactant. So you can see we could switch that. And everything gets switched from reactant to product. And then you'll notice the sign is reversed. So these are things we can do to reactions um, to get the end product we need. OK, so here's our problem. Let's say we have um, ammonia plus N2O gives us nitrogen plus water. We don't know the heat for this particular reaction. But we can add these three reactions together and end up with this reaction. We add the resulting heats and we'll get what we need. So um, if we look here, we don't need four ammonias. We only need two. So I'm going to divide the whole thing by two and we will divide the heat by 2. OK, if you look at this, we need N2O, but we need 3 of them. So I'm going to multiply this whole thing times 3, everything, the heat and everything. And then water, we need 3 waters. Here I've got 1. So we're going to multiply this by 3, and then we'll be in business. So let's go ahead and let's multi divide this first reaction by 2. We have 2 ammonia plus 3 halves of a mole of O2 produces 1N2 plus 3H2O delta H for that reaction would be minus 1, 5, 3, 1 divided by 2, which is equal to minus 765.5 kilojoules. So that's the first reaction. And ammonia is on the right side. And 2, we don't have 4, but we'll see that it will add up in a minute. OK, so now we're going to multiply this next reaction by 3. Okay, and now you can see when we add these together, we're going to get our 4N2. And again, we have 3H2 in this reaction. So delta H is going to be minus 367.4. We're going to multiply that times 3. And that's going to equal negative 1102.2 kilojoules for that step. OK, now the third one. We multiply by 3. We get 3H2O. Um, that's the only reactant. And we have 3H2 plus 3 halves O2. And delta H for this reaction is 285. 
0.9, that's times 3, and this equals positive 857.7 kilojoules. So now we're going to add all these up. And when we add them up, they need to equal this equation up here. Okay, so we can cancel out some things. 3 halves O2 and 3H2. That cancels just like we would in algebra. And then 3 waters. Uh, it doesn't matter which one, I'll just take that one. Okay, so you can see this bottom equation totally cancels out. However, we're still going to add all these energies together because this wouldn't have canceled out unless we had uh, this other H2O. So this, this matters even though it cancels out. So when we add these two equations together, we get 2NH3 plus 3N2O. And that produces 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, and 2, plus we've got 3 waters left. Okay, we can put our states in. I left those out so it wouldn't get so distracting. And we have a match. So this uh, equation matches the one that we ended up with. Okay, and then when we add all of these together, we get minus 1010.0 10 kilojoules per mole. So, this is using Hess's law, which states that uh, the end product, uh, however you get there, the result will be the same. And so we could have used different equations, perhaps, with different energies. It would have added up to the same thing as long as it algebraically adds up to the equation we were looking for. So there's three ways to find the heat of reaction. And this is a way adding up other reactions. You did this in the calorimetry lab.